Looking to catch some great films? Well, I'm at the Arc Lodge Cinema in Columbia City, where in just a few days, we're kicking off the Seattle Asian American Film Festival. And joining me now is the festival's co-director, Kevin Bang. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Molly. So tell me a little bit about what I can expect in this, the second season of right. the festival. We're going to be showing uh, 28 films uh, over four days in two screens here at Arc Lodge. 11 feature films and uh, 17 short format films, uh, most of which are uh, films by local Asian American uh, filmmakers in, in Seattle and in British Columbia. This uh, is not an Asian film series. We're not going to be showing the latest martial arts film or drama from Hong Kong or Japan. Uh, this is an American film series uh, expressing sort of the Asian American cultural experience through film. So what are some of the films that you're probably most excited for this year? Lin Sanity. It's the documentary film about Jeremy Lin, the NBA star. The film kind of digs into his life uh, and, and talks about his unprecedented rise from being this no-name uh, undrafted rookie out of Harvard to becoming this global basketball superstar uh, overnight. I didn't want to play the piano. Like every year the recital would come around and I'd be pretty much playing the same song and they're just like this is not working. All he does is play basketball so let's just let him play basketball. And he's just this little kid He just scored the basketball so well. In high school Jeremy was the best player here. And Lynn is gonna have to launch a 25 footer. And did he call that? But yet, colleges weren't clamoring for him. He just didn't fit the mold. People look at basketball players in terms of race. College, it just got crazy. Can you even open your eyes? Can you see the scoreboard? It's definitely one I can't miss. So tell me, uh, give me a couple other can't misses for this year's festival. Sure. Uh, another uh, must-see movie is Seeking Asian Female. It's uh, sort of this intimate, very intimate love story about uh, Stephen and Sandy. Stephen is this aging white man who uh, has yellow fever. He's obsessed with this idea of marrying an Asian woman. Uh, so he finds his Chinese bride online. It's more ultimately about the immigrant experience, cultural conflict, and really what, um, what love's about, kind of the work that's required to put, that you, people put into a relationship. Tell us a couple other ones that you've noticed uh, people are really highly anticipating. Yeah, one of my personal favorites is a local story. It's called Rascal Love. It's about a Seattle man named Vanna Futt, who is actually a member of Tiny Rascal Gang. It's, it's, it's a, one of the largest Asian gangs in uh, the United States. Uh, he was initiated into that gang at the early age of 11 years old. Uh, so this story is about three generations of gangs as seen through the eyes of someone who's lived it and is still involved in it today. I've seen it painted by blood. When I first met Lazy, you can tell he had some hood in him. He was making the change to where it's like you're either going to go one way or another. He was kind of like a star out here. Every battle, you, you know, it was exciting to see him. We could be TRGs for the rest of our lives, but I'd rather appreciate to see you guys making it. When you guys do good, you guys are going to appreciate me one day. You're going to be like, damn, one of our OGs from TRG told us to do better. Congratulate me when I graduated from high school, and I'm doing good, and I'm getting paid real good. You know why? Because I wasn't used to go shoot somebody. We've seen movies like Colors, uh, Minister Society, Boys in the Hood, and with a big Asian film community, we done forgot about that the culture of Asians, Asian gang does exist. This festival is such an important part of the Seattle film community, and I know that we're all really looking forward to it. So, Kevin, thank you so much for being on Pi. Thanks, Molly.